Now, what's going on, everybody? What's up, y'all? We How have a doing? guest today. His name is Brock Hecking, and uh, he's a retired NFL player. I told y'all we had a special guest coming up. And, uh, well, he invited us to come over to his property because he thinks he's got gold here. Well, at least he's got the dirt that looks like it has gold in it. So that's what we're here for. So we're going to get in that creek back there, and we're going to see if we can find some gold. You ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, let's do let's it, man. Do it. i tell you what. There's one more thing we'll all do as well. It's not just going to be gold pans. not just going to be a sluice box, things of that nature. Hey, we're going to run this machine, see if we can't find gold with it. All That's right. right. <laughs> I, I like to shoot some guns from time to time. So we got some brass. We have some lead. Now, based off of these two gentlemen's expertise over here, I've done found out that that might trigger some things on here. So oh, we yeah. might have to run into that, but well, I'm excited, bud. That's right. That's let's right. do it. There you go. All right. Let's have some fun. Let's see if we can find some gold today. All right, so I've got this bucket right here of material, and uh, we're gonna start with it. This is the material from the big old piles up there in the grass up on the hill. So I brought one down here to test. It's crazy, if you don't know the results till you have to be cleaning out everything. Clean up everything. Chris over here finding. Oh yeah, I think it is quartz. Chris over here finding. Interesting rocks. He's over working that gravel layer right there. And uh, he's trying to get that gravel layer out of that bank right there. And so he's classifying everything down and he's coming across this. Brock said he's got a couple more big old buckets of material up at his house. He's gonna go get that. We're gonna run that too, his stuff he's pulled out. And it'd be quicker for us to do this than him running through a pan, so. Cool deal. I'm uh, using this uh, suction dredge. I want to use it a couple times. It's probably. What you working with over there? Ooh, you don't make a hole there. Good looking jagged cork coming out of there. Yep. You want to run those through that thing and clean them off? Sure. I'll stick them in here. Hopefully, at least find a speck. Huh? I hope at least find a speck so that way he's excited. So, we're letting Brock process some of this stuff here. Now, where did you get this material from? This was like from the first two, three trips with the excavator down. Okay. There. So, right when a lot of this stuff was untouched. Yeah. Because like I said the only stuff that's really, really untouched is about right here. All right. Everything else I've been through with the excavator numerous yep. times just trying to get the pond going. Why you put me on? I ain't got my hat on. Oh, that's right. You can get your head on. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, everybody. So, that's what we got so far. We're letting this water clean up, which I'm getting ready to turn it off. And, uh, it looks like it. I got a lot of, there's a lot of black sand in there with some uh, blonde sands, but it's definitely something in it. Uh, all kind of heavier stuff. So, we're going to clean this up here in just a minute. And we'll let that drain down. And we'll do the old clean up. Not clean out. Clean up. Yeah, not cleaning out. Not clean out to get the, you get cleaned out to get away. That's the very bottom one there. So uh, hopefully no gold. Well, we want gold everywhere, but we don't want all the gold down here because that means it wasn't catching it up here in the top. So, but I'll take a whole mess of gold down here if we got it. We have to take out this piece here. This is an easy cleanup. It's, I love how simple this is to clean. We can run some water in that or just make sure it don't have anything in it. While he's doing that, you get this right here out. Man, I hope there's a piece or two in here. I mean, I hope it's full, but... How's that come out of straight up? Straight out top. Hold on, why are you feeling like it? All right. No, I ain't never cleaned this up, so you have to tell me. Yeah, you just stick it down in there, uh, invert it the opposite way. Yep. And that way, everything will come out of the out of the riffles, not riffles, but the, the sails. I think they call them sails. It ain't coming out. 
And we might be able to just do it both ways, I guess. I, I think I have done it both ways. I think it's the first time Chris has actually cleaned this up. Mm -hmm. So, it's a learning process. Brock has been our um, gopher today, hasn't he? Yeah. I think he's been up to his house like six times. <laughs> we hadn't filmed a lot on this first round, but we're going to try to change that. We've just been doing a lot of talking. Uh, and, and Chris's uh, uh, creek that we were digging in last year yeah. is like 20 minutes from here, 25 minutes from here. And how different the material is here than it is there. Yeah. So. And, and Brock was telling us 200 yards downstream, it's different material than here yeah it's, it's, it's weird yep and, and we're talking about the quartz rocks just all the quartz that's here on this property that isn't 200 yards that way it's kind of kind of strange but hey it's the way it was all made that's right y'all we've been we've been processing material for over an hour and a half and that right there is all we got from it <laughs> but that's what's gonna have the gold in it that's right maybe it's got gold moment of truth Three hours later. <laughs> hey, this stuff's small. We gotta make sure we get it all. So what's the advantage of using the big ripple side versus small ripple side? The, <clears throat> the big ripple, it just gets it all faster. And then when you get down to the, the uh, last little bit in the pan, use the small ripple side. Gotcha. That makes sense. Because none of that right there on top is going to have it. He's shaking it and all that gold settles to the bottom. And yep. if he stirs any up when he's doing that, he'll shake it back and it goes back to the bottom. See, these techniques are impor important because yes, a lot are. of the a lot of the folks that are viewing this and like myself, I mean, we just watch some uh, some gold rush and some TV from time to time. And so, oh, you know, just do this, just do that. They make it seem way more simpler than this process actually is. Mm -hmm. And... Well, out there, they're finding big stuff, too, and that's all they're looking for. So they'll do this quickly. Yep. Gotcha. Because that, that bigger gold will fall faster. Ah, that makes yep. sense. So you almost speed pan. But out here, for that big stuff. Our, the small stuff, you just got to be meticulous about it. Oh, you didn't know I knew that big word, did you? Meticulous. I don't know if I used it correct, but I knew the word. I knew the word. You ain't it's not gold, but look at that. How the light hits it. Oh, yeah. It's got like a yellowish brown. A little bit of something. Pyrite. So, yeah, it might be <laughs> it pyrite. Might be pyrite. It's loaded with black sand, though. It is loaded. This, this is material is dip, so different from yours. Mm hmm And you're only, what, 15 minutes away? About 30, 25. Yeah. All right, y'all. So far, nothing. But there is some interesting stuff. That's what we was talking about a while ago. Y'all probably can't see it. I'd have to, it'll be blurry because this camera doesn't really focus on close up stuff. That right there is not gold, but it's something. And it has a beautiful color of yellow. But because it travels, as soon as water touches it, it just flows. We know that it's some sort of a rock, but we don't know what kind of a rock that is. Me and Chris have actually never seen anything that looked as pretty as that. Almost like gold. Except me. Yeah. Chris is pretty. <laughs> Man, I can't believe not one speck. I can't either. We ain't done yet. Here. And if y'all uh, noticed, that's something we did talk about. Um, me and Chris was looking at this white stuff in this uh, pan. is really fine pieces of sand from quartz. Mm-hmm. And see, the thing about gold, too, is if you think something's gold, you can cast a shadow of it. Mm -hmm. And if it's still yellow, I mean, I'm talking about bright yellow, yeah. it's gold. Gotcha. But if it, if it, if it, goes, to, if it goes to a gray color or a white color gotcha. or just disappears, it's not. Well, what we say? Sample one more time? <laughs> sample a different spot? Yeah, we'll just sample a different spot. All right. My brain's kicking. <laughs> All right, so we're down here in this little spot over here. Chris is going to move some of this material off of this bank. 
Did we tell him what what uh what Brock's gonna do down here? He's gonna no. he's gonna he's digging him out of pond eventually, and so he wants to make sure there's no gold in it first. So we're digging into this bank right here because he's eventually gonna dig all this out. So it's all good. Yeah. Oh yeah, some material I hadn't seen yet today. Y'all can see there. There's a clay layer right above where he's digging. And then below it is black sand and I hope a bunch of gold locked up in clay. So if black sand and those other rocky materials and sand is, was getting in that clay and mixing together before it was laid down, I hope there's some gold that laid down with it. Look at that. Boy, that looks Man, good. Look at that. Boy, that's pretty. I tell you, see all them colors in it? Mm-hmm. That's that's highly that's, mineralized. That's there. very mineralized. I, I hope that's gold in water. it. Oh yeah! Look at that, look at that man. Good night. What do you think? That's not really clay. I mean, that looks like more like black sand. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, y'all. Here's our two containers. That ain't containers. Those be five gallon buckets. Those are buckets. Look how different those two materials are. Just from two different places on the creek. Two different places in the same creek. Crazy. And he said he pulled that material right over there. About 15 feet away. And we got this material over here. About 25 feet away. Two entirely different types of material. That's crazy. Well, now it's time to see what's in it. Let's run it. That scoop is nothing but quartz. You right. What would you say, Brock? So this is the farm that he's on eBay. He's typed in gold ore. Yeah. And this is what comes up. So anytime you have the quartz with the black and all that stuff on there, yeah, this is all the folks are selling on eBay all day long. And like I said, it's like fifteen hundred per hundred pounds is what they're selling online right now. And it's just all that quartz with any of this what they call based off of online is gold ore yeah wild to me that just blows my mind and people buy it. people buy rocks yeah yep. for 1500 yeah <laughs> that's crazy but i'd imagine 99 percent of that's going to be that's pretty good it is that's, good. that's decomposing quartz boy howdy look at it would you just look at it <laughs> see it's got some dark stuff in it mm -hmm. Look at that. I say we keep this, put it in a pan, run it. You know what? Let's do that. Put it in this bucket. Because if there's any pieces of gold up in that stuff, that detector will find it. Yeah. It'll sniff it out. Y'all right. look, this is what we're gonna with all that material, we're gonna we're gonna get all the quartz and load it in this and we're gonna run it over run the detector over it. And see if there's any gold specimens gold just locked up in it somewhere if we find one <laughs> we're gonna rip that whole that whole bank down yeah. <laughs> so i want to show y'all some of this material again we was talking about how it looks it almost looks like rocky road ice cream how many views do we need to get hey for 100 likes chris will eat some of this chris will taste it i ain't eating it <laughs> <laughs> Man, oh, what am I doing? That there, that must about messed up. Put the cart before the horse again. <sighs> Y'all, look at that. Oh yeah. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna run a machine over that. All right, all, this is the red, all the black bucket with the quartz material in it. Uh, we're actually going to clean up again and process this down and pan it to see if this is the bucket that has the gold in it and this is the material where the gold would be. Don't fall. And then once we get done, we'll run the red bucket with the black material. Technically, I win because I dug both buckets. 
I don't think it works that way. <laughs> That's the way we work it. I dug that bucket too. I know, but I told you where to dig. <laughs> <laughs> Balls. <sighs> some clay balls that's the bad thing about that stuff because it is when it gets wet it clumps yep oh, uh oh we locked we locked down we uh, you just got to put your hand in there and twirl it well i tell you what let's not run that because we know where that what the rest of that is that ain't even clay all right, so this is clay. A lot of it's clay. It's got a bunch of clay balls in it. We're gonna run this material he's got and then clean it up one more time and then call this one a day. But we're still hopeful. So y'all know what that means? I won. Hmm. How did you win? <laughs> we got to run all my material. We can't even run yours. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. That's the last of the material we're running today. We're gonna let it cycle and clean all the water out. Make that water pretty, and then we'll do one last panning session. All right. This is our last opportunity. Brock ain't never going to invite us back. Not. We don't find no gold. <laughs> no, what we did find was we fought a new, this is a new form of pyrite that we're going to patent. Yeah, that's right. Because it's about as the closest thing as a dude who's never seen gold before, but <laughs> owns gold as well. It's as close as I've ever seen. I know it. It does. It and, looks and going through the process in my brain, where it's like you pan it out, the heavy stuff stays, and then not. Why is it still there? Mm -hmm. That's we'll, my question. We'll call it fold. Fake gold. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> we got they we got some fold in the band. We can sell this to with the amount of watches and grills and stuff that are going on. We can sell this to someone. That's right. Somebody. And we 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 gonna we gonna cut it in half. You can get fold or for seven hundred fifty dollars. There yep. you go. Yep. <laughs> it's cheaper, I already cheaper see the sparkling. I see. I see the fold. The fold is sparkling. I, I see the fold already. <laughs> I'm gonna get you a glimpse of that fold. Look at that. Right that what that is no sense. it? What it is looks that? so good. That is as gold as I have ever seen <sighs> gold right there. Don't make no blasted sense. That, that makes no sense. I wonder if it's a very like non-pure form of gold. The like only way to know is get it tested. You'd have like to six carat or two carat or one point five carat. I don't know, but we could try to. Well, because that's about as much gold as I've ever seen right there. You can. They make test kits for that stuff though, for gold. Don't they, they do make a gold test kit. You can get them on right. Amazon. You if get them on popping, Amazon. If you're popping black sand out like that, and look at that. I know. There, that, there, so there, good. there. Yes, you can get that right. That is a good way to test it. Uh, put get you a um, um, get you a kit. It's on Amazon. It's Come. a gold. It's a gold test kit. Okay. And. Get some of this stuff right here and drop one drop of that stuff. It's acid, really, is what it yep. is. Drop it on there, and if it stays, if it, it it's gonna, it's probably gonna boil for a second because it's gonna, if there's any impurities in it, it's gonna eat it alive. Yeah. But if there's gold in it, it will stay on it. All right. Well, might have to come back for a part two. That's right. Man, it looks so good though. But to not be what we normally see is gold, man. But Look it's at all, that. It's all over the place, though. It's not gold, but it, it looks so good. Make it make sense. The math got a math for me. Y'all want to know something? Something else looks good. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> he got a whole pile of three carat gold <laughs> out of the whole property. Nine thousand pounds of quartz and three carat gold out here. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, this is it. We uh, we've we've been out here since shoot. We got here about twelve o'clock. It's five o'clock now, so five hours, and we found zero specks of gold. But we now, found to to be determined. That's true. We're gonna need a part two to this because I will say, yep. as a the experienced um, prospector that I am, <laughs> that when I'm learning this panning process and learning from these two gentlemen here that really kind of perfected it and taught me the things that I need to know. But I will say that you find quartz, you find black sand, and then you find, we're going to trademark this as a South Carolina fold. Fold. South yep. Carolina fold. It's as close as that you can get to 
we'll just call it gold. Yep. So that's what we call. But we it. are gonna test it. We are gonna test it. Mm -hmm. That'll be on for our part two when we get together again. But anyway, we got one more thing we want to do real quick. Our good sponsors, Note to Detectors, uh, they sent us a detector to give to our man Brock right here. So we're gonna give this over to Mr. Brock right now. Yep. I appreciate it, gold, brother. Gold cruiser. Yeah. Here's just a little goodie bag. Awesome. You can, have with it. Yep. I appreciate it. And we're gonna put this to use. And I think this is, uh, cause today was more about prospecting and panning. Okay. So maybe part two, once uh, I did flip my excavator, um, trying to pull up a blueberry bush the other day. So that could also help a little bit, but I yeah. think maybe we get into this whole, you know, detecting aspect. Cause this was more about prospecting yeah. and you know, you guys, you know, came out here and taught me the ropes with that, but I've never really done this detecting thing before. So I'm looking forward to it. That's right. Hey, well, until next time, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you have a good day. God bless. We'll see you next time. And as I always say, treat everybody like you want to be treated. That's right. See there you go.